Good morning all of you today we will see digital storage oscilloscope now this is nothing but one we can say as a oscilloscope there are two types of oscilloscope one is a CRO that is a cathode ray oscilloscopes and another one is that is a digital storage oscilloscope as one is a CRO that CRO is we can say as this is analog CRO means whatever the output waveform we are seeing or input waveform that we give that are analog in nature and in a digital storage oscilloscope that is a DSO we are getting output in a digital form that is nothing but in the form of ones and zeros so from this figure we can show this is nothing but front panel control of DSO digital storage oscilloscope that consists of different of that we will see in detail so first of all we will see what is mean by CRO so CRO is nothing but this is a common laboratory instrument that provides accurate time and amplitude measurement of voltage signal over a wide range of frequency this purpose of that CRO is nothing but that are used for to measurement of amplitude of a voltages as well as we can say uh, accurate time and voltage signal over a wide range of frequency its reliability stability and easy of operation make it suitable as a general make it suitable as a general purpose laboratory instrument so the heart of CRO we can say that a cathode ray oscilloscope so first of all we will see that what is mean by cathode ray oscilloscope that cathode ray oscilloscope this is nothing but we can say block diagram of cathode ray oscilloscope that consists of heated cathode intensity control focusing anode accelerating anode focus control y plates y input x input x plate graphics coating fluorescent screen like this now whatever this screen that is nothing but when we insert electron beam means input signal to apply to the vertical amplifier this is called as a vertical amplifier because output applied through a delay line the vertical amplifier that we are using that is necessary to amplify the amplify the weak signal now that accelerating anode to accelerate and to focus the particular beams that are entering into the your CRT tube after that we are here using another one as a time based generator now the purpose of time based generator to generate a sawtooth voltage waveform and apply it bit to the horizontal amplifier as the sawtooth voltage has a linear relation with time the moment of takes place at a constant velocity across the screen in a horizontal direction so different there are the different control again focus control suppose we want to increase the focus of that CRO intensity control we have to increase brightness or we have to in increase that particular we can say as a nothing but a brightness of particular CRO for that purpose we are using this different control and here we are using as a graphics coating and after that next one is the fluorescent screen that we are using so this is nothing but we can see behind the display that is a CRO this is a physical animation of CRO now this is nothing but we can say as a DSO so DSO this is a front panel control of DSO that consists of this is nothing but we can say as a digital our display after that there here are different we can say as a knob so this different knob that we are using that having we can say amplitude control voltage control then sine waveform generator waveform reconstruction auto set then these are the two we are using as a channel one either we are using a channel two or at a time we can use channel one channel two that are used for we can say as a changing amplitude one is a time based generator for changing a time period there are different functions selecting either particular channel one two suppose you have to perform a different operation math operation suppose you have to store a waveform at that time also there are different options available so this is nothing and this is a power on switch so this is we can say as a front panel control of a CRO next one is the suppose we have to see means uh, in exams of question is like this digital draw the block diagram of digital storage oscilloscope and explain in detail at that time you can also draw here front panel and then you can explain our block diagram so in a block diagram that consists of firstly we can say as a whatever the input signal that we apply to amplifier amplifier amplifies the input signal 
that are applied to digitizer digitizer will convert analog to digital and whatever that digital signal are stored in a digital memory means in that particular dso digital memory is available and then go to analyzer to reconstruct a particular waveform according to our input nature either it is a sine waveform cosine waveform or any type of a waveform a remaining time based generator trigger clock that also we are using and that are applied to crt so this is nothing but we also call this as a crt cathode ray tube so these are the different functions that we already seen this is nothing but a one we can say as a delay time based feature in that suppose this is a waveform now that waveform looks like as we can say as a square waveform but this is not a particular square waveform that is a delayed waveform means some we can say attenuation is there so that type of waveform we can generate on a cro this is also another one waveform also we can say as a here we are using one cursor for measurement of particular any waveform suppose this is one waveform and we have to uh, measure the time period either we have to measure a particular voltage so starting from this point we are considering 1 2 3 4 so for total voltage is we can say as a 4 volt suppose we have to measure amplitude so what is the amplitude or what is the distance between one waveform to another waveform like this 1 2 3 4 5 so like wise we can say that dso we are using or particular dso use for particular application so there are different types of application of a dso that are used for measurement of ac voltages ac current measurement of frequency time period then in medical applications such as cardiogram in to analyze a tv waveform in also in suppose we have to analyze a tv means for getting a signal for that purpose also we are using that then also to observe the radiation pattern generated by transmitting antenna so these are the different we can say application of dso so in exam suppose question is like this explain front panel control of dso and block diagram and write down an explanation you can write in this way so here we have completed dso that is digital storage oscilloscope